Well, good morning, guys. It's Noel here from InFlight Video. I have got a crazy day trip ahead of me today, and I'd love for you to come along and join me. Um, I am heading over to Latvia and Riga, more specifically, to fly with Air Baltic on the inaugural flight of the Bombardier CS300 aircraft. Um, it is my pleasure to have been invited to Riga to um, join in the celebrations and be on the inaugural flight today of the CS300, and I'm really excited and really looking forward to it. It's currently three o'clock in the morning here in the UK. I've got a long day ahead of me. Um, I'm on the M1 at the moment heading towards Leeds. I've got a 6am flight out of Leeds Bradford this morning on KLM over to Amsterdam um, on the Embraer 190. From then on in I am uh, heading over to Riga in Latvia with Air Baltic on a 737 and then returning back on the inaugural CS300 flight this afternoon before finally heading back to Leeds Bradford this evening on Jet 2 um, on board there Boeing 737-300. Uh, I've got an awesome day ahead of me. I hope it all goes to plan. I would love for you to join me on today's trip. Let's go and see how we go. So here we are guys, we are at Leeds Bradford Airport and just walking up to the um, airport now from where I've parked. Quick, just something that you might be um, interested in, um, in terms of parking at airports, and obviously it cost me a fortune. Um, that over there is Leeds Bradford Airport's parking. Um, that costs about £30 a day to park there. And there, right over the road, that is the travel lodge just across the road from Leeds Bradford Airport, where they charge £6 a day. So it's a saving of about £24 a day, just by parking um, there instead of there. Um, and it's about a five minute walk into the airport, so it's no problem at all really um, for the amount of money that you save. So let's go um, walk into Leeds now and get some video. I'm going to stop this film so I can do some filming for the full flight video of course, um, and then I will um, talk to you again in a little while. Deserted, even the lounge isn't open yet. It's half past four in the morning now here at Leeds and it doesn't open till five and I'm desperate for coffee so just wait about. Nobody here at all. Absolutely deserted here at Leeds Bradford Airport so just wait for the lounge to open. the way the lounge is set up here they've um, split it into two um, there's like a um, leisure leisure side which is for people who have paid um, obviously you can pay a little bit of money to come to the lounge before your flight um, and then they've a separate area here for business class passengers like myself today so it, um, it's really good it keeps to um, keep things separate and makes it nice and quiet and relaxing over on this side as well which is always a bonus at this time of the morning at least
located in the exit row. In the event of an evacuation, do not take any personal belongings with you. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this flight over to Amsterdam. Well, we're ready to go, but uh, weather in Amsterdam is a bit foggy at the moment, so we've got no traffic control restriction. It means we can't start uh, engines for approximately 25 30 minutes. Then, once we're underway, it's off the southern runway, 50 minute flight at 27,000 feet. We'll press the go fast button, see if we can get you to Amsterdam as quick as we can. But uh, with the weather conditions, it'll probably slow us down again. But we uh, should get you in there at the moment, uh, probably just two or three minutes behind schedule if things go to plan. I said the weather's a bit foggy, but that's lifting at the moment. So we're told that we're ready. The slot could come forward, but uh, we'll just have to play it by ear. In the meantime, thank you for your patience and uh, hope you enjoy the flight. Due to the um, weather here, it's very foggy. 
um, zero visibility landing down here so I'm just heading down through the terminal here to meet Window C Sunil who is another fellow YouTuber um, I'm going to be meeting up with him to fly on the next flight over to Riga so um, let's go and see if we can find him Good to meet you. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, um, you had a good flight? Yeah, awesome, yeah. thank you. Yes, yeah, we're a bit delayed. Yeah, because of, because the, of fog. the fog. Yes, yeah, okay. so it was an interesting landing. So. Okay. <laughs> So guys, here we are, we're at um, gate B35 here at Amsterdam, our aircraft has just arrived at the gate, it's just down there, and here is Sunil from Window Seat, fellow YouTuber. Um, so we're going to be heading over to um, Riga now to um, go and hopefully get on the CS300 this afternoon.
are in Riga, Latvia. Just had a really pleasant flight with Air Baltic there on the 737. Uh, fantastic service, lovely uh, meal as well. Nice to get on a uh, classic 737 as well before they're all retired. This is Riga, it is currently one degree and you can see there's a bit of snow on the ground, but it's not too bad really, it's a little bit chilly. We're gonna head over to the um, Aviation Museum, um, which is next door to here, I think. So we're gonna take a wander over there now and have a look around some of the old Soviet aircraft that are there and um, hopefully get some good video from, for you from there as well. So let's go and see what it's like.
here now at the um, rather wonderful um, Soviet Aviation Museum here in uh, Riga in Latvia. Uh, this is just one of the exhibits here, it's an Antonov 24, a really old Latvian Airlines one, quite apt to um, have it here with Air Baltic's newest aircraft just over um, on the apron over there. There's some wonderful um, relics of aviation here, there's some um, Helicopters, the old fighter jets, there's even a Tupolev 134 um, at the back that they can't get round to it at the moment. Um, Antonov's, Yaks, MiGs, you name it, everything is here that's um, Soviet aviation. And it's like a gold mine, it really is. Um, if you're ever coming to Riga, I can really recommend coming um, here. To, it's going to just cost seven euros to get in. We've got the place to ourselves. Um, there's literally just me and window seat here at the moment, Sunil. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. Experiences. So we're here at the Gate C5, um, as I've already mentioned, I think, um, which is where we were about to board the very first um, CS300 flight, Bombardier CS300 flight, um, with Air Baltic, the first ever flight in the world with this aircraft um, on a commercial flight. So, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. As you can see there's an incredible party atmosphere going on here. Um, everybody just enjoying it, the champagne, cakes, everything, you name it, as you would expect for such an occasion. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. We'll be boarding very shortly and for our very first ever CS300 flight. Technologies and uh, this kind of equi equipment, which is a very first uh, first flight, is a great advantage for uh, National Air Baltic uh, National Airline here in Riga. And uh, we would like to wish uh, all the best and good luck for these flights and the development of these rules. And Riga Airport will do all the best. Uh, that our national airline will feel here in Riga Airport comfortable, successful, and efficient. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear passengers, so finally we have the day when we have passengers who pay for the ticket. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, so, uh, with this flight today, which is a historic moment for the CS300, it's the first commercial flight in the world, uh, this aircraft taking off to Amsterdam. Uh, we write history. You all write history because you are passengers on that first commercial flight. Uh, and uh, we as the Baltic are very proud to do this. Very happy that we opened the route to uh, Amsterdam, where uh, is the hub of our culture partner KLM there. And uh, all I have to say that the captain told me I shouldn't talk so long because he doesn't want to be delayed. 
So I wish you all a, a very nice flight uh, today, first commercial flight. Thank you for paying for the tickets and make us a better airline. And uh, I wish you a really, really relaxing, wonderful experience on the CS300 today on the way to Amsterdam. Thank you, and now you need to board, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The future begins now. Welcome. Robotic new bombardier CS300 aircraft, this flight number BB619, is ready for boarding. Please proceed to gate C5. Pleasant flight on our brand new aircraft. Thank you. So guys, here we are. We are here on the very first flight. We have the camera on the window ready to go. Light's fading, so hopefully we'll get some sort of decent video out of this. But who can, look at this, the green lighting in this aircraft is amazing. The mood lighting they've put in, the cabin's really, really nice. It's massive, have spacious overhead bins as well. Um, I'll show you a bit around the aircraft a little bit more later on, but for now, this is just, I'm just going to sit back and uh, try and take it all in, it's an amazing aircraft. I forgot to mention as well, they gave us an awesome little goodie bag, which I've not really looked into yet, but it looks like there's all sorts of things in there. I'll show you that very later on. I don't know whether you can see it down there on the floor. There's like a poster thing, um, some kind of notebook, um, key rings, pens, all sorts of souvenirs and things like that. So I'll have a look at those later on when we get to Amsterdam. Um, but for now, I'm just going to take it all in um, the atmosphere on board. It's really buzzing on here. Um, loads of media and things on board as well. So it's going to be a great flight. I'm looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Theresa, Captain speaking. My name is Wilmot Espajonas and together with uh, uh, another Captain, Christoph Marchand, start and guard this fiber, Janis Olanete. We have a real Camille on our board bank side, uh, the C-Series 300, Catras Lee, uh, going uh, to Amsterdam. This is the first commercial flight and uh, we are very welcome you on our board of uh, this beautiful and incredibly new machine uh, which uh, you have a chance to fly today. The flight time will be two hours and uh, we are happy to see you on board. Please uh, enjoy comfortable and uh, fantastic flight today. Thank you for your attention.
inside, whereas if you look out the window here, absolutely stunning sunset on this side of the plane, so there is going to be a little bit of a gap in the video where I move from one side to the other and carry all my kit over, but I think it's going to be worth it to get a much better video, so um, yeah, I've also done something new here and mounted my um, session onto the gorilla pod that I was uh, talking to you about before, so it's just um, a great way to mount that basically, so um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good video, it's a really good flight so far, beautiful views of the sunset and the moon rising behind us as well, so uh, it's going to be a great flight. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, the 
Midnight sky Caught in this job In midnight sky Caught in this job In midnight sky Lovely, thank you very much, thank you. So guys, we're back here in Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. I had a fantastic flight on the CS300 with Sunny Lake a window seat. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. Very long, very tiring. You're off home now. But it's rewarding, it's very, very rewarding indeed. Yeah, fantastic flight on the CS300, as I'm sure you've all seen. Great service. Uh, awesome service from Air Baltic, yeah. And just want to say thank you to Air Baltic for having us on the flight today and for putting on such a great celebration. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, I'm now heading across Schiphol to get my last flight of the day, and this and chap here home. is going home. So um, thanks very much for watching, guys. I will um, talk to you again in a minute. And um, thanks very much, Sunil, for today. It's thank been awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. So guys, we are now at Schiphol, we've said goodbye to Sonil, um, who has now disappeared off home, and now we've got to disappear off home, except we've got to get another flight yet. Um, so we are just, at the moment, walking towards the H Pier here at Schiphol Airport, which is the low-cost airline pier um, for EasyJet, Jet2 and the likes here. Um, basically, there's no frills, no facilities or anything down there, so we wait here until the gate is called. Um, so we're on Jet 2 next, it's a 737 300 and hopefully it'll be on time and it looks like we've just got our gate so let's head down there now.
here we are back at a very chilly, very foggy Leeds Bradford Airport after a mm, standard flight with Jet 2 really. Um, they're kind of the same every time you go with them, there's not really much to them. Um, but here we go, we're back at Leeds Bradford International Airport. I'm going to take the five minute walk back to my six pound car park in space now. Um, and then it's a, about an hour's drive home for me. Um, where I will start to put together all the video from the last um, 12 hours or so. It's hard to believe that in the last 12 hours I've kind of been from here to the other side of Europe and back. Um, it's kind of standard when you're doing these sorts of trips really, so um, time always seems to fly. So here we are back at Leeds anyway, so let's have a um, drive back down to um, the Midlands now from Leeds Bradford. Thanks very much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much to um, Air Baltic as well for um, inviting me along to the CS300 inaugural flight today. That was really much, very much appreciated, it was a fantastic experience. Um, and I'm sure I speak for everybody on board um, when I say that they put on a really good um, celebration of the inaugural flight to the CS1, uh, CS300 rather. Um, so here we go, yeah. Thanks very much for watching guys. Um, please click like, share, subscribe and everything else that makes you so awesome. I'm going to go home and go to sleep because I'm absolutely exhausted. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon, bye.